Hi everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're going to be discussing this question, which says a speed bolt moves from rest to a velocity of 30 meters per second in five seconds. It then maintains um, the velocity for a period of four seconds uh, before coming to rest. Given the retardation as negative four meters per second squared, draw a velocity time graph for each, uh, I mean for this uh, motion and determine the total time for the trip and the distance uh, uh, the distance uh, uh, and the total time of the trip and the distance covered by the uh, speedboat. All right, so this question is also straightforward. You don't have to even take time to start thinking. Yeah, so the first question is asking us to draw a velocity time graph for this motion. So before we can even start, make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you have not yet uh, subscribed and uh, click the notification button here so that whatever that I'm going to be sending to the, um, to, to whatever that I'm going to be sending, to, to us is to um, I mean on my channel you should be able to see them and you should also join my telegram group I have a telegram group where I just post um, all the uh, where I just post all the A levels questions that is uh, uh, on telegram okay so you should check the description button there the description down yeah so you find the link there and that's where you you click and then join the group okay so the speedboat moves from rest uh, to a velocity of 30 meters per second in five seconds so we have I'm going to draw the XY plane this is the origin then this is the velocity then we count this to be um, this one is uh, time in seconds this is velocity in meters per second so they are saying in the first, uh, first it will start, it will move to 30, so it will move to 30 meters per second in 5 seconds. So I will put my 5 there. So at this point, so it's going to move like this. From there, they say it maintains the velocity for a period of 4 seconds before coming to rest. So for a period of 4 seconds, it maintains the velocity, so 5, 6, seven eight nine so we have four there one two three four five then so we have that and then we also have this other last part which says given that the retardation is given that i mean given the retardation as negative four meters per second draw the velocity time graph for this um, uh, for, for this trip okay so um, what we need to know is that when it is that when it is about, it is about to uh, start retarding um, the, well, the the velocity is 30 v is 30 and then the final velocity when it comes to rest will be zero so we have the acceleration we have we know to say acceleration is given by uh, the change in the velocity over 10 and then we have been given the acceleration which is the retardation in this case which is um uh, four and then this negative is simply just implying that this was a retardation so we write four there then the change in velocity there will be the final minus the initial so the the final uh, okay Le, let me put the negative there so that would balance things so we are going to put the negative there and then the final we said the final will be zero the initial and then the initial is 30 so we always say final minus initial we say zero minus 30 then everything divided by the time so we're trying to look for time so we say uh, so this is vf minus vi and everything divided in time okay so when you do the cross multiplication there we're going to get negative 40 is equal to negative 30 
then when we divide everything by uh, negative 4, we get the value of t to be 7.5. 7.5. So it took 7.5 seconds for it to come to rest. So we're going to um, write our approximation here, our 7.5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Point five, so it will be somewhere there. Okay, so this is going to be so this is going to be this is going to be our velocity time graph that that, that they wanted us to um, that they wanted us to uh, draw. Okay, so it took 7.5 seconds for it to come to rest. So now the first question was for us to, to draw the velocity uh, time graph for the motion. Then the second one is uh, to determine the total time uh, for the trip. The total time for the trip will be the first five seconds plus. So the total, so the total time is going to be, we have the five seconds then we also have the four seconds which it, it moved. So here we're supposed to have nine, not four. Sorry for that. So this is five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17.5. So we can, oh, not really 17.5, but 16.5 when you add it there. So we have 7.5 there. So we add the first five seconds plus four seconds and then plus 7.5 so 5 plus 4 that will give us a 9 9 plus 7.5 this will give us 16.5 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7.5 okay so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 point five yeah, so 16.5 seconds is the, is the total time that um, this speedboat took to go through this trip and then the last question that we've been asked to find is uh, the distance covered. So the, dis the distance covered is just equivalent to the uh, it's equivalent to the um, area that has been um, yeah the area under this uh, velocity time graph. So the area under this velocity time graph is the one that um, is the one that we use to yeah. So it's the, it's the one that we call the distance covered. Okay, so. How do you find the area of this is a trapezium? Yeah, so the trapezium, the area of a trapezium is given by half. Then you have a plus b uh, times h. So in this case, our h is from there to there, which is just 30. So our h is 30. Then our a is uh, the short distance from there to there. We say uh, 9 minus 5, which is just 4. And then the longest distance, which is B, is going to be uh, from 0 uh, to, yeah, so from 0 to uh, 7.5. So the longest distance will be uh, rather from 0 to this point here, which is 16.5. So the longest distance will be 16.5. So we can now plug in the values. We have half, then A is 4, and then B is 16.5. And then the height is 30. So area is equal to half. So 16.5 plus uh, 4, that will give us a 20.5. A 20.5 times 30. So we say 20.5 times 30. This gives us 615. Yeah, so here we had 20.5 and then we have a 30 there. So the area will therefore be equal to um uh, so we divide that by two we have um something like a three zero seven point five so three zero seven point five um this is the total distance covered so three zero seven point five um it's going to be in meters in this case so the area okay the area for the for the area i'll just say unit squared I'll say unit squared, but to write now the distance. So the total distance covered 
is the one that we're going to write in meters. So say 307.5 meters squared. Yeah, so this is um, this is how you find the area. So you can find the area by also dividing these into three equal parts or two equal parts. Three or two. So you call this first part A, the second part B, the second part C. So the first part here, you say, so we say the distance will therefore be equal to area of a right angle triangle is given by half. And then the base is five times the height, which is 30. Then you say plus the area of a rectangle here, we have five, uh, nine minus five. The answer is uh, nine minus five. The answer is four, four times 30. So we have four times 30. And then we have plus, we have half. And then our A for this angle, I mean for this triangle C, our A, I mean rather our base will be 16.5 minus 9, which is just 7.5. And then times the height, which is 30. So we say uh, the distance will be equal to, uh, so 15 times 5. I said 15 times 5 because I have divided the 30 in advance. So uh, 2 into 30 is 15. 15 times 5, the answer is 75. So we add 75 to uh, 4 times 30, that is 120. Then you also have 7.5. 7.5 times 30, that is 225. We divide this by 2. 112.5. 112.5 so when you add the 75 when you add 75 plus 112.5 plus 120 the answer will simply just be uh, 307.5 meters squared so this is the other way you can find uh, the distance the total distance traveled or covered uh, by the speedboat is you can either find the area under the cave you just get the whole thing as a trapezium and then the simplest I mean the other way is by dividing these um, sections you, you divide them into at least small small segments that you can use to to watch this to, to that you can use to uh, I mean that you can use to find the area so this method is the one that we call the trapezium law where you just use the trapezium uh, formula to find the total distance all right thank you very much for watching today's tutorial like i said um, if you need tuitions or if you need help in mathematics feel free to uh, contact me mathematics and physics feel free to contact me from whichever universities you are and then the other thing is that you can text me on any of these lines and then if you want to text me on telegram there is this line you can use my mtn line and they are both on WhatsApp, MTN and Airtel. Then this one is my Facebook account. Then apart from that, the, the other thing that you need to know is that there's a Telegram group uh, which already has people now, about 1,000, I think so. It should, uh, it should be 700, between 700 and 1,000. Yeah, so you can join my Telegram group. I'm going to put the link um, in the description below. Okay. See you in the next tutorial video. My name is Hampton.